Okay, another 30 minute, 10 second game. Let's see what we've got here. And who we got. Okay. With the four knights, nice and simple. Okay, they're moving very fast for a <coughs> 30 minute, 10 second game. That's an interesting situation. Let's just go here. Let's protect the palm. King safety, castle. What does the bishop want to do? Uh, it did a big move and it doesn't want to do anything. Let's see what the knight wants to do. Let's just take here. And now they've gone slow. So it doesn't mean we're in a favourable position. I mean, they've got an advanced pawn here. It's got no protection on it, but it's easily defended. So it is quite highly elevated up there. So now he's looking to exchange off pieces, looking to improve his position with his queen, protecting the pawn. So that's quite an interesting situation. Could attack the knight with the pawn, smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Don't really see why we should develop their queen for them. But it could just take our bishop, queen takes. Let's see what the knight wants to do. <coughs> Again, we're sat just waiting for the opponents to overextend. Let's just capture here. We've got a basic attack through to the rook on this side here. And he's wanting the queen to come down for what looks like a drawish type position. Oh, you see, I don't know, because they're moving really quick, I'm getting a bit lost with what they're trying to do. So the pawn takes and then the queen comes down, got to check on our king. But doesn't our bishop just come in front of our king? Uh, I might be missing something. I'm going to take the bishop. Could we not move our king here as well, opening up the rook? I'm missing some. His queen can't come here because we've got our pawn. So I'm going to move here and potentially look for the rook coming here facing their king. So we'll attack the queen. So then we're facing this target area here. We, we haven't got any pieces to, to support that attack, but. Uh, he's on a white square. Bishop can take this pawn. X-ray through, rook comes onto him. Bring the bishop back, blocking here maybe. He's looking to support this pawn. Hmm. Let's attack. He could always sacrifice the rook. Okay, everything seems to have gone to a standstill now. Okay, it's 
So we'll just bring the bishop here, like we said. Probably try and get the queen in here because he's looking at. So oh, is he just taking something with the queen? <sighs> okay, 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 okay. Get our queen here facing their king. It's a mate threat. Well, not necessarily a mate threat per se because his queen is protecting that square. It's really wanting to keep protecting this pawn though, doesn't it? Could look to see if he wants to exchange the queens off. Let's try that. Okay, and it's another check type thing on the king. If not. Capture. Well, we must have been moving a bit as almost as fast as them then because our time doesn't seem to have gone down, it's a 10 second increment. Well, I still felt that they moved a bit quick. Attacking, so we can bring the bishop back, can't we, just to block. Still wanting to protect this pawn like crazy, isn't he? Position, position. Oh, he's come with the rook. Damn. I was just about to say we can move and trade here. And I was attacking this pawn. So it looks like I'm playing defensive Charlie here. This <laughs> rook is ready to go here, isn't it? Although it can't really do much, can it? Let's not panic and get all creative and start thinking of all the bad things that can happen. Let's have a look at some of the positives from those bad things. How many positives can we generate from the overactive creative brain of this can happen, that can happen, the other can happen. We have an advantage, we have a minor piece up. So what are the positives? Yes, we're defending a pawn here. The creative mind is basically saying, look, yes, you have the advantage, but watch your blind spot. Keep your pieces safe as best possible and slowly but steadily just start manoeuvring your pieces. There's no rush. Take time. Find the right position. Bringing the king into the game I think is going to be okay. He's wanting to bring the rook here. I want to get my king into the game a little bit, although I don't want it trapping. We can't bring the rook down because our pawn can take. So I suppose it can come across here. So then we're playing defensive Charlie. Rook here. Hmm, maybe we'll leave the king there for now. Push the pawn. Pawns want to be pushed. <laughs> Thinking if we're allowing this. If I push this, if I push that, we could always bring in block there. And then get his other rock onto there. I suppose the bishop can come and protect the pawn. Let's push the pawn. It's, it's blocking. So we do have the picture. Bishop protecting that type of thing. So just bear that in mind. 
But his rooks can't come here because we've got the pawns there anyway. So let's take our time and grow. Come on. I think it's going to be the king coming across. But I don't really want to tantalize his rook coming across here. Didn't really see anything wrong, too wrong with that. It's just the idea of him coming to this side here. Hmm. I could, oops. And I could go there if his rook is there. But because he's got the pawn there. Although I could just take this pawn in the first place, but no, I could go there, and if he rook comes back, we take the pawn here. Okay, let's um, give it a try. Let's give it a try. Stage at a time. Try not to lose the advantage. I'm sure they're not creating magical, mystical moves. does like moving that king if we move up a bit he's going to push his pawn let's just look he's going to push the pawn to support it's not going to allow you to get your king in there at least the king is supporting the pawn then we can look to attack his rook even interesting time so in fact because the pawn king is protecting the pawn now we could do that it's just that his rook is going to come here and that's going to dishevel the situation a bit in there because if we go there he gets the check we move up say his king goes across we attack the rook and this rook can't go anywhere because it's kind of trapped so then he goes crazy takes this pawn we take his rook Rook is putting a check on our king. We'll come back down. Hmm. Very interesting. Attack the rook. Rook puts a check. King moves. King goes to attack the pawn. King comes here. What am I missing? What am I missing? Let's go with it. I've been through it probably three times. I didn't feel like I was missing something, <coughs> but there's always magical interrupting moves such as magical pawn. Oh, the pawn could support it if it's there. So if he's there, then the pawn can come and support it. Oh, ah, man. I should have taken it a little bit further. Try it, try it, try it. Okay, right, so it comes with the check. Doesn't go with the check. We're taking this pawn, this rook off the board. Because we can trade down. We're gonna have to put some pressure onto the pawn with the rook. So you do all that thinking, all the calculation, and the opponent doesn't do anything that you say. Tuck the rook. Rook just comes across because it's protecting his pawn. I'll bring the rook up. Don't want to waste the move because at the end of the day I'm still opening up this file that I could support the bishop now. But then I'm jamming the bishop in because it does have 
at some stage this I think I like the fact of being able to cover there so if we push this pawn because we're really wanting to get this pawn he's probably going to see that yeah, just going to push this pawn with the idea of bringing the king to attack this pawn he's still going to have the replication pawn if he does push, push then this pawn still supports the pawn anyway it's less pieces towards the king gear because he does have a pawn majority on this side and what I don't want to do is get into creative mode now looking at all the different options blah 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 and then not logicalizing the creative choice the correct choice that has been calculated because that's where we're currently at brain gets all giddy with too many moves and ideas and strategies and oh look at this one this one's interesting and then it doesn't say well it, logically is that correct after all your calculation it's always being mindful as well just because you're a minor piece up against a rook I've seen these positions either drawn or, or lost as well so you still have to be mindful all the time um, the hardest game to win is a one game in chess and I've been so serious about that because it's so annoying you get these beautiful positions you've got an advantage you've even got a queen maybe and the opponent hasn't and yet somehow you don't find a way of winning the game it's either drawn or you lose the game so taking my game a bit further I just want to get to the bottom of it and I think I have got to the bottom of it with this over creative monologuing that I do to myself so he has pushed down like we thought he, they would do so we just want less pieces in front of our king is it still correct that we were going to take this pawn so so when they do the move sometimes the picture looks different when you're actually done after you've done the calculation and it might actually be better than what you originally thought so going to capture I think that seems appropriate less pieces on the board I feel more comfortable bringing the bishop here attacking the rook but I'm just going to keep that in my back pocket I think I still like the idea of the bishop being able to traverse back here really getting the king up now because now the rook is blocked it's not going to attack the bishop will take it anyway so there is potential for up oops up and up but obviously he does have this pawn that can defend so I think the more he crunches himself up maybe then we can get sights of up here so what's the rook doing in the meantime rook can come here looking to attack this pawn doing a horizontal thing so I think that's what we're going to do keeping things tight at the moment Okay, so the pawn does come down so then we can look to do the zigzaggy thing with the king also putting pressure onto the rook so even if we did put pressure on the rook now it can go here so there are elements that we could potentially maybe take the bishop out of the equation for a moment just bring it here or <coughs> He's going to go there, isn't he? If he's attacked, <coughs> or he might, <coughs> excuse me, he might look to exchange. So it would be nice if we could get the pawn here. So attacking his, attacking that space, that key space. So his pawn probably does take, and at that point, then we can take here. But then his rook's going to come across and defend the pawn here. It is a dark square, so bishop could come and attack. The rook goes back, attacking the bishop. Or is there an in-between move before that? If we go here, we attack. Bishop is protected. He does have options of this, but then he's not got anything to attack here. So I think I'm going to go with that. That seems to disrupt their position a bit. He doesn't have to take, but then we can take with the pawn with the support of the rook. Then this pawn is unprotected. So it seems like 
a type of plan I'm gonna stick with that and if it looks different after it's happened so we did take we said we we're gonna take or we could take this pawn first ah you see that's the sort of thing in an overboard game in the past I would have gone ah let's take this one and we haven't even talked about this one yet we talked about taking this one we didn't mention this we went capture and then the rook coming to defend here and then we were looking at the bishop coming here so that's what we calculated now the picture looks different is there an advantage in actually taking this pawn because now we're in front of our own pawn our past pawn our opponent can't necessarily protect this pawn because the bishop will take it so I think it's better actually capturing this pawn now that is good job while we, we sat there and recalculated mm, so next time I've got to learn to calculate all the options so he's actually brought his rook down defending the pawn this way and he is actually on a white square one of the good things I see about it is, is that we could push here, it's just that the bishop is there at the minute. So one of two things can happen is potentially just coming here for a check. But we have to be mindful of the fact that he can push onto our pawn. And if we take his bishop, he's gonna, his rook's going to take our bishop. So how do we want to play this? I don't think there's a bad way to play it. I think we could just bring the bishop here. Ready to line up on this side if need be. Or is it too close to his king and gives him a bit of a power? If we go there then his king comes and attacks the bishop. So we're sort of losing a bit of tempo. Do we move it further away? We could bring it to the spot that we liked, you know, we gave our little bit of air, but also that's a bit of air for the king. So maybe we don't block that way. Check on the king. Ch king comes down to here. Don't really want to give it a positive in. And then we could come back up and down again, or we could push our pawn. He pushes his pawn. That's the concern. I think they're being clever with this pawn move. Um, so... I am going to move the bishop somewhere. My pawn won't be protected, so I've got to be mindful of that. But the rook can't come here because we'll take it with the bishop and it can't go there. He does have a pawn on our king, but we can take. I like this bishop's position. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. If I moved it to there, let's try that. Move it to there. Don't really want his king feeling powerful and making us lose tempo. But I also don't want him pushing down and we're losing a bit of tempo because the bishop's under threat. So he's got a nice little cluster of pawns here have to try and play it as safe as possible but it's got to be proactive safe not just to sit and wait for them to take all my pieces off the board or wait for me to get a bad position I'm hoping fingers crossed I'm not in a bad position so it's a nice pin now because we can now push forward with our pawn onto his pawn he doesn't have to take he could just leave it there but then we'll get the pawn for free so if he does take we take his rook and then we've got a bishop that hopefully can push forward so I'm actually going to go with that seeing as the king's moved away and then he's got three linked pawns but we do have a passed pawn on the far side that should be able to get up I think and he's got a passed pawn here obviously so we need to be mindful of that and Let's go, push. Just bring this bishop here. He could do a fancy thing like pushing onto here like this and then I take and then he pushes down but then I think we've got space to attack or come this way. 
so it's going for it anyway so it's still looking to actually push down on this one so I'm going to just bring the bishop here I'm not too sure if the king's close enough to get this pawn so I think we should be able to ramp this home Oh, and they've resigned. Okay, yeah, interesting game. Another interesting game. These long games are really fruitful. And, um, yeah, nice one.